Hello and welcome to the Django DRF project e-commerce. This tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can watch for free. The link to the YouTube course playlist is in the video description. This course is also available on Udemy where you can watch the course ad free, download the tutorial source code and access all updated tutorials and playlist. The link to the course which will always provide the best price can be found in the video description. So far, we have created a new GitHub repository. We have been committing our code to our GitHub repository and saving all the code onto the GitHub space we have online. So now we're going to create a new branch. So far, we have been creating commits. So we have been saving our progress, the changes to our code base to the main branch. The main branch is the branch that's created when we create our repository initially and it is something we can change the name of so if we wanted to change that to master or something else we could do that isn't a problem at all but typically what's stored here in main is the most latest version the most up-to-date version of our application so let's imagine that this main branch is actually live or is actually what we provide other developers to build from. So we know that's the most up-to-date branch of our application. Now, whenever we want to build a new component, what we're probably going to do is we're going to make a copy of this branch and make a new branch from it. And then we can go ahead and build those changes, develop that component of our application. And when we're ready, when it's fully tested, we can then go ahead and merge our new component that we developed over to the main and make that part of the new main branch, that being the most up-to-date version of our application. So let's go ahead now and create the first components of our application. And we're gonna do that within a different branch. So let's just view this on GitHub. Just bring this down. So let's just view this on GitHub and let's make a new branch. So over on the left-hand side here, you can see we have the branch here and let's go down and view all branches. So you can see that we only have one branch here. That's the, the main and it's the default branch. And that essentially means that whenever, if this repository were public, for example, that's the branch that people would see first. So on the right hand side here, you can see there's a new option to make a new branch. So let's go ahead and make a new branch. So what type of branch might this be? It's a development branch. So we're going to develop a new component. And I'm just going to give this a name, like 1.0.1, .1 to denote uh, really, this is just to identify, in my case, the course structure. So I'm going to structure each section of the course with different numbers so that you can then quickly identify the code base you want to have a look at. So that's how I'm structuring the course. But it, it's a good idea to kind of create some versions maybe for maybe the main, um, as well as some of the other uh, app branches that you're going to build here. So that's the structure that we're going to create so what's going to happen here is you can see here the branch source so what's going to happen we're going to copy everything from main if you like and then that's going to be part of then and become the development branch and then we're going to take that code and move it forward adding new features right so let's create a new branch there we go so now we have our second branch so uh, if we go back into the main repository area you can see now in the drop down we have now two branches right so let's go back to our code base uh, before that actually let's just go into github desktop if you are using github desktop you notice that it doesn't appear yet so you just need to refresh the origin and then that will just download all the new information you can now see that we have a new branch i'm going to select that branch and then we're now ready to develop in visual studio code we won't do it just yet, but what's going to happen is we're going to make a change. So let's uh, just create a simple change here, right? Let's just save it like that. And you can see that if we go back into Visual blah, 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 GitHub Desktop, you can see we've made a change. And what's important now from this point on when we're developing in this section of the course that we make those commits to the current branch, which is going to be the dev branch. Okay, so that's essentially what we're going to do now. So any changes that we make, any commits that we make are going to be now committed to the main branch. And that at the end of this section, what we do when we're ready, when it's fully tested, when we're happy with everything, we're going to then make that part of the main branch. So we're going to merge all the code from our dev 
from this development that we're going to perform in this section. We'll merge all that code over to the main branch and then our main branch will then be updated with all the latest code. Just for anyone who's maybe wondering why we are creating a separate branch here, why not just develop with the main branch? Well, as a single developer, as I'm assuming you are at this point developing this application, there isn't necessarily any massive advantages utilizing a new branch, um, but we're just simulating the idea or just dropping in the idea at this point that typically if you're going to be working on an application where there are multiple users, you're not all going to be committing directly to the main branch. You're going to have a, a separate branch that you're going to potentially work on, so a copy of the main uh, branch. You're going to develop that component or whatever you're developing at that point, and then you're going to merge it back once it's ready to be merged. 